I have lost a total of 20 pounds this year. If you guys would like to hear specifically what I did, then definitely keep on watching. <music> You guys know me you know that I live in Trinidad which is the home of carnival and after carnival I really took a really good look at myself and I was like no Tanisha you need to do better and so I decided to embark on a fitness journey from carnival till now carnival was on the weekend of the 24th and 25th of February and I'm filming this on the 2nd of May so you guys kind of see the timeline there so basically what I've come to report is that I have lost a total of 20 pounds this year. From carnival to now it's probably been more like 15. But I'm here to tell you guys how I've been doing it, what I've done and how you could do it as well. So if you'd like to kind of hear about my fitness and weight loss journey thus far, then definitely keep on watching. If you're expecting a weight loss resolve video or weight loss journey video where somebody loses 50 pounds in two weeks this is not the video for you i'm really sorry you should just click off right now if you are somebody who is interested in really changing your lifestyle to a healthier one yeah it's gonna mean you're gonna lose weight at a slower rate but you're gonna be able to keep it off for longer let's start from the beginning <laughs> and I'm really I'm not even going to say I'm embarrassed but a number of things happened that led me to the point where I was at my heaviest weight ever like I couldn't like when I stepped onto the scale I couldn't even believe that I weighed 171.6 pounds and I'm only 5'6 so that's a lot of weight on my frame so the first thing that I did and I was doing this way before I've been doing this for a couple months if not years to be honest is intermittent fasting so okay so let me explain what intermittent fasting is first so intermittent fasting is when you eat during a particular window and then you don't eat anything after that window ends so for me I first started doing intermittent fasting for doing the 18 6 method so I would fast for 18 hours of the day that means I wouldn't eat anything for those 18 hours and then during six hours of the day I would eat my meals so for me that meant eating like my first meal of the day would be at two o'clock and then my last meal of the day would be at eight o'clock so from 8 to 2 p.m. the following day 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. the following day I wouldn't eat anything I just drink water and that would keep me satiated until I'm ready to eat. Now that 18-6 method kind of eventually boiled down and I realized that method wasn't necessarily sustainable for me. So I ended up doing the 16-8 method. So now my first meal of the day is at 12 p.m. So I basically just don't have breakfast and my first meal of the day is at lunch. So I have lunch. I have a snack maybe like around four and then I have my dinner maybe like around seven ish round off to eight when I cut off all eating so the 16 8 method has been working out really well for me that is what has helped me to maintain my weight in addition to intermittent fasting I completely changed my diet and I don't want to say it like that because I don't want it's not that I completely like cut out stuff I went on a kind of low carb diet and even saying that like I don't want it to seem as though like I completely cut out carbs and I was just eating celery and meat and that was it <laughs> no like when I say low carb, I would find healthy alternatives to the things I already love to eat. So, for instance, to me that meant if I love pizza, I would then make cauliflower pizza or I found 
Bob's Mill had this low carb flour so I could make low carb flour pizza I actually made um, pizza where the crust was chicken and then you just put your toppings on top and so that is what I've been doing I've just been substituting my favorite meals and trying to find a more low carb version or a healthier version of it what else did I do I completely cut out sugar <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy to say because I'm a sugar fiend <laughs> um, I cut out traditional sugar let me say that because I have found other methods to get or to, to satisfy my sweet tooth so now I've kind of been doing a lot of research on sugar and different things like that and how you could get that same vibe but without compromising your health and your fitness goals so I found stevia and I found monk fruit and I found erythritol and those are different types of sugar alcohols and they don't impact your blood sugar in the same way that traditional sugar does. So I've been able to even enjoy things like cheesecake. I don't use like the graham crackers or whatever crackers as the base. I use like something healthier like weed germ or whatever oats whatever it is you grind them up and you use that as a base instead of traditional sugar cookies you know so those are the kind of changes i've been making i've definitely been eating more salads been trying to get more fiber because you'll find a lot of the time that incorporating more fiber into your diet is really going to help you to feel fuller for longer Incorporating more fat into your diet, as crazy as that sounds, is going to incorporate, or it's going to help you feel fuller for longer because your body takes longer to digest fat. So, for me, and I'm not saying go and like sit down and eat a whole tub of butter, not saying that, but there was a time I had, what was it? A truffle. And a truffle is like a cheese waffle. So, I made a waffle with cheese, eggs, um, and different seasonings and I put on the waffle maker and I had that for breakfast I can't remember what I had it with maybe I had it with eggs or something like that so I had that maybe like around 12 and I kid you not I didn't feel hungry till like 5 6 in the afternoon whereas there have been days when I've had like smoothie bowls and that would consist of like oats and different berries like strawberries blueberries that kind of thing and by two three o'clock i'm hungry so there is something to be said for incorporating more high fat foods into your diet it keeps you fuller for longer and by default you eat less so i would purchase more stuff like um heavy cream whipping cream butter um eggs cheese i would eat all of those types of things um, and that keeps you fuller for longer as opposed to just eating simple carbs like rice and like um, pasta like I can't tell you last time I had like regular rice regular bread regular pasta like I cannot tell you now it's just because I've been substituting it for healthy alternatives like quinoa like my salads different things like that so those major changes in my diet have been instrumental in me losing weight. And when I say that, I don't want you to think that I will never eat a piece of bread again, or I'll never have rice again, or I'll never have sweets or cookie again. No. <laughs> like I said to you guys, this to me has all been about finding substitutes for the things that I like. But if on the off chance that there are no substitutes, hey, I'm going to have some ice cream. I'm going to have cake. Like, it's not going to kill me. And that just helps to me mentally to remain focused and to remain motivated because I don't deprive myself of the things that I actually do love, you know? So the third thing that I've been doing, so, so far I've talked about intermittent fasting. I've talked about changing my diet to more of a low-carb, low-sugar diet. And thirdly, working out. So working out has never really been that much of an issue for me. I used to work out a lot in the past. So it was just kind of me trying to like re-engineer my mind to get back into that place. But I have been working out maybe four to six times a week. Lately, 
it has kind of dwindled a little bit just because my schedule has been a little bit hectic. I kind of, I think I only exercise like three days this week, but generally I exercise between four to six times for the week. I try to give myself two rest days, so maybe that's Saturday and Sunday, whenever I could get it in, but I exercise, and when I tell you I exercise four to six times a week, I don't mean that I spend an hour exercising. Ain't nobody got time for that. I literally take whatever workouts I'm comfortable doing, whether it takes me 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, like the longest workout I've ever done, and I probably did that twice, was 45 minutes. Gen- my, my average workouts are like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Average. So don't let anybody make you feel like you have to spend two hours in the gym in order to see results you really don't pick something that is high impact so do stuff like high intensity interval training or hit workouts do circuit training that type of training or that those types of workouts help you to burn more calories faster and in a short amount of time instead of doing steady state cardio like just walking on a treadmill or just walking around your neighborhood while those things are good just to keep the blood flowing it won't help you to push past your weight loss plateau or your fitness goals. So I would personally recommend if you can do HIT or uh, more circuit type training, that would be an amazing help for you in terms of trying to lose weight. What also works for me in terms of exercising, if you're not an exercise person, what has worked for me is going to bed in your exercise clothes. That has helped tremendously, especially in the beginning when you're now getting into the routine of it. If you sleep in your workout clothes, when you get up the next morning, like you do have like, you, in your mind it's like, yo, I already have any clothes, let's just do this and get over with. And that's the other thing. I do my workouts fasted. So I generally get up at like six o'clock in the morning, six, half six, and I do my workouts first thing in the morning. And that way, I just get out of the way, I forget about it, I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. And also doing your workouts fasted also helps you to burn more calories because you're, or burn fat because your body doesn't have food, it doesn't have other sources of fuel. So it would feed on your fat and use that as energy for your workouts. So I found that that helps as well. So I think that is it. I think that is all I've been doing differently. And like I said, for me, it isn't about um, just cutting out all the bad, st- all the bad stuff. It's just about moderation. Life is such that if you feel to have a drink, have a drink. Have a glass or two or three of wine. Like, don't be so hard on yourself that you can't find a balance. That's just my personal opinion. It may take you longer to lose the weight. But you're going to be happier for it. At least I have. (laughs) So yeah, guys. I just wanted to tell you that really quickly so far. So good. I plan to continue doing that. Um, Oh, I almost forgot. Tracking your calories is so important. And tracking your calories isn't for everyone. Let me say that. A lot of people kind of get really neurotic about it and they get to the point where they like obsess over it for me it was more of a tool when i first started my fitness journey i had set my calories to 1200 i think it was and i thought to myself the lower i keep my calories the more weight i will lose and at that point like i was stuck at 165 for forever and I would not budge and I was like, but why am I not losing weight? I'm only consuming 1,200 calories in a day. But what you need to also remember is that your body is such that if you're not getting enough calories to support your everyday functioning as well as your workouts, your body is going to hold on to that fat and hold on to the energy source. So if your calories are too low, you're not going to see the results. So I actually bumped up my calories to 1,500 calories a day. And when I did that, like within a week, a week and a half, I saw so much weight loss. 
And that was just because I gave my body enough fuel for what it needed to do. But I still had enough of a deficit because I had my workouts going that I was still able to lose weight. So counting your calories is super, super important. You just need to play around with the numbers. There are tons of calorie calculators online that you could really check out and use as a resource. I would put some resources down in the description box for you guys to check out. Things that I have used for me. You just need to work out your basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of calories your body needs. Even if you just sit all day and do nothing, just to keep your heart and your, all of your organs working, I need to add that to your daily expenditure calories, which is the amount of calories you'd use, whether you are just walking or whether you are like doing a really intense workout. And those calories combined as the calories that will, you need to survive. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to subtract like, I would say, and I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a fitness expert, but from what I've read, having a calorie deficit between like 150 to 250 is kind of like the sweet spot. So that's kind of what I did. So now I've found that my sweet spot is 13 to 1400 calories for the day. So I use my fitness pal most days. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> but just being able to keep track of my calories really keeps me dedicated and focused. And it allows me to be able to know if I can actually sneak in a cheat. So there are some days where my calorie count for the day is less than a thousand. Let's say it's like eight to nine hundred because I haven't really eaten very many calorie dense foods so I can afford to slip in a glass of wine or to slip in a rum and coke or something like that I just know how much leeway I have and how much give I have in terms of actually being able to eat another plate of food or to eat a snack or different things like that to make sure I'm getting enough calories and that's another thing i am never ever hungry like you need to find foods that are going foods that you like one that you're going to eat and also foods that keep you full and that's why fiber is so important having greens is so important because they are really low calorie but they fill you up really quickly keep you full longer so intermittent fasting changing my diet to low carb low sugar diet exercising four to six times a week as well as calorie counting and i used to weigh myself every single morning at the same time and again that is not for everybody but it was just to keep me motivated so i hope that was helpful to you guys if you'd like to know anything else about my fitness and or weight loss journey comment that down below i do post generally every single day about some type of some aspect of my fitness journey whether it's my meals my workouts just motivational stuff so if you'd like to follow me on instagram if you are on a similar fitness journey i will leave my instagram handle below for you guys to follow me so again if you guys have any questions about my fitness journey or my weight loss journey thus far definitely comment that down below if you like this video hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss future uploads and I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.